From North Korea deciding to participate in the Winter Olympics to Washington announcing possible talks with Pyongyang, Oh jung takes a look back at the long journey for Seoul and President Moon, mediating the two sides that seem to drift further and further apart. It all began when North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, on the very first day of 2018, expressed his openness to improving inter-Korean ties and hinted at the possibility of Pyongyang participating in the Winter Olympics. South Korea was quick to grab the olive branch. Upon Seoul's suggestion, the two Koreas held high-level talks at the Truce village of Panmunjom for the first time in three years. For the Olympics, the North agreed to send athletes, a high-level delegation, art troops and more. The inter-Korean military communication line was restored along with the hotline at the border village. South Korean President Moon Jae-in dubbed the PyeongChang Winter Olympics the Peace Olympics, with North Korea's participation confirmed and joint military drills by Seoul and Washington postponed until after the Games. Tensions on the Korean Peninsula were further reduced as Kim Jong-un's younger sister, Kim Yo-jong, invited President Moon over to Pyongyang on behalf of her brother. But for South Korea, it was crucial to have things go at the right pace for the U.S. too. Washington remained wary of Pyongyang's actions, calling them a charm offensive, and announced a new set of sanctions on the regime. South Korea's intelligence authorities served as mediators between Washington and Pyongyang, delivering messages between the two. And on Friday, South Korea's efforts to keep the momentum going proved successful when the U.S. agreed to holding a historic first summit with North Korea by May. Attending a reception event for the Paralympics on Friday, President Moon Jae-in recalled the situation on the Korean Peninsula back in October. But now, as relations with North Korea continue to thaw, he wished for the success of the Paralympics and for that to lead to peace on the Korean Peninsula. 평창 동계 올림픽에서 시작된 화합의 물줄기가 패럴림픽을 통해 더큰 화합의 강이 되고 한반도 평화와 번영의 바다로 이어지도록 계속 성원해 주시기 바랍니다. 오정희 아리랑 뉴스